then to mention um the recent collection for Bottega Veneta for the result 2020-24 and for me this is an example this is a clear illustration that Matteo Blasi definitely was the secret source and maybe the team that he worked with over there at Bottega Veneta when Daniel Lee was there because since you know Daniel Lee's uh, breakup with Bottega Veneta for varying reasons some people are going to say it's a racist incident some people are saying it didn't happen who knows but regardless you know at the height of his kind of pomp Daniel Lee kind of leaves Bottega Veneta under a cloud of uncertainty and um, he then goes on to join Burberry and it feels like to me that he hasn't been able to recreate that magic of those early seasons at Bottega Veneta at Burberry but Daniel Lee, sorry, but um, Matteo Blasi has definitely been able to re recreate it. So clearly it shows like to me that Daniel Lee wasn't as great as a designer they made out to be. He relied a lot on the team. And once that team sort of split or left, because I think there was a story I read in the New York Times on this pod about Matteo Blasi basically saying that he fell out with Daniel Lee before he ended, his, before his tenure over there ended. So that also could explain why there was a dip in quality, especially if you remember some of the collections they presented in Detroit, the one they did in Berkheim was really, really bad. Um, and definitely wasn't anything like their you know first couple of ones that they did that kind of made the name for Bottega Veneta and put them back on the map. So clearly for me, it feels like we can see that Matteo Blasi at Bottega Veneta is definitely showing us that he was the guy all along. He was kind of like, you know, the genius behind the genius um, that basically been able to present what he's been able to present. So I've got the resort collection here on the screen. Um, some of my favorite things here are definitely some of these bags. I've got this bag here that basically looks like a sweater that's been tied up together. Um, you've got some really good, amazing, amazing dresses here. Some really nice suiting and tailoring. The bag and accessories are really some of the best bits and bobs I've seen from them a lot. Some of the casting and, you know, styling has been great. I think this look here number nine was a look that was featured by asap rocky i think he recently wore that um for like a press thing um because i think there's a there's a tracksuit look here also so they're doing something different interesting they're doing this thing where like i think they featured um rocky there's a picture of asap rocky um driving this really amazing vintage i think mercedes and he's wearing one of the looks in this kind of in this collection and it was done many many weeks before so clearly it's part of the rollout and then most recently he also did a shoot or he did some like paparazzi thing where he was jogging around, you know, I don't know, somewhere in Hollywood Boulevard being chased by paparazzi and he was wearing essentially like a head to toe Bottega Veneta outfit. And at the time I thought it was strange. Like, why is he jogging in that sort of area? And then also he had these grills on. It's like, who jogs with their grills on? It's a bit strange. So it makes sense that it was all part of a promo thing. You know, for the ASAP Rocky, it's a bit odd because I feel like he's way more talented of an artist to be doing that. He should be, you know, creating great music and shit and putting on great shows and videos and whatnot. But clearly that isn't probably his passion anymore. But it's a bit sad to see him running around doing those kind of fake stunts and shit. But hey, it is what it is. Going back to the show, some of the denim looks from, you know, Matteo Blasi, Bottega Veneta, I've always been a big fan of. I really do like this. Some of the big long trench coats here look number 13. The books boots, sorry, on look number 14 look amazing. As does a cheetah print dress on look number 15. Uh, my favorite look definitely in terms of casual wear would definitely be my um, look number 18 here with the, what would you call that, shadow? Shadow plano, shadow shadow flannel, sorry, that looks like it's been made in a like sort of like a mohair type material, which is a really interesting design. So I'm not too sure if this has been printed or if that's been weaved in, you know, like because it's basically a mohair jumper that's been made to look like a flannel shirt. And you've also got a pair of jeans here, which I'm not too sure if the jeans are because Matteo Blanc is really just a thing with the jeans. He kind of, you know, he'll make it look like a jean, but it actually looks like, but it actually feels like leather or vice versa. So I'm interested to see if that's actually the case, but that actually looks phenomenal. I love everything about it as obviously some of the suiting is obviously very, very well done. Um, The color, oh, this is another look Rocky also wore. I think he was out with Rihanna going to dinner somewhere and you had this look head to toe so definitely it's just an interesting way to roll out your designs right um you have them featured um weeks beforehand in these sort of like candid paparazzi type shots maybe similar to what was going on with fucking you know maybe it's an inspiration taken from the um you know the in the golden era paparazzi when victoria beckham and posh bison running around the streets of the world and shit maybe that's part of it who really knows but i love the pink shade that bag this dress really well done I think Dua Lipa wore this dress actually it's also recently I might have seen a picture of Dua Lipa wearing it um this oversized um 
you know um cable knit jumper is so 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 nice i love how it fits on the model and shit the bags look really great the color green i'm really liking as well these olive green colors um nice long trench coat this sweater here with the snake motif design looks really cool it kind of reminds of something that you'd see maybe jonathan anderson um at luebe or maybe his namesake label do it seems like very very jonathan anderson maybe acne type coded i really like the look of that also um that big trench coat looks great i like the size of the label inside the jacket i'm not going to lie um you've got a chambray shirt here with a western shirt on top um and you've got this excellent sort of like long socks i think or shoes with this with this with this um with this um snake design at the front which are really fun and cool i like that as i do like this suit the double breasted suit here with the brown boots and the overcoat on top it looks amazing as does this print that also features on the bag this kind of you know what is it brown and green um you know um basket case design i think you're gonna call it maybe a weaver not really sure but i love the color there as well i do love on this fur faux coat and yeah great dresses great color combinations great styling casting is amazing accessories are fucking booming and again another example that mateo blasi might have been the guy you know the whole time look look at this one here this on the right this denim suit this denim look is so good as is this one here with this relaxed shit um relaxed shape um sh no this is like an overshirt it looks like right with these two big pockets on the front um it looks like it's i don't know if it's a felt kind of design or felt material sorry because the collar is really standing up on 10 and the shape looks amazing or maybe it's just i don't know if it's been stiffened a bit but that that look there was amazing i think look number 43 i love that and then i think this is the look that rocky was wearing when he's running around the streets it's this look number 46 and allegedly i think they said this tracksuit that looks like a regular tracksuit is actually made of leather i think they said that actually it looks like a regular mall gray sort of like tracksuit but it's actually made of leather um this overcoat looks really cool shirt skirt designs great bag there um this is the look actually that rocky wore i think when he was when he had that mercedes i think this is the one um with this orange coat and this amazing suit on the inside and i love this coat this kind of reminds me again there's a, there's a phoebe Vilo coat that recently released that kind of looks similar to this kind of plyo pile plush furry number there on look number 54 and we've got a few others here again just great stuff man like Mateo Blige is definitely that guy we can't say anything about that and again that great cable knit jumper in its different sort of color blocking as well looks really great as does this shirt which kind of reminds me of the heady days of that Prada shirt that everyone was wearing right I love this type of design of a shirt actually looks really really cool so big up Mateo Blasi all of it looks fantastic I'm sure it's going to do great when it eventually does drop on the stores and yeah I'd wear every single piece of this like I even love the label Bottega Veneta with this um, kind of overstitched label on the back it looks absolutely fantastic and some of the details as you can see as well look absolutely brilliant so yeah big up Mateo Blasi loved and enjoyed everything about that collection and for me a good return to form because like I said before mentioned I think the the time that I sort of like discovered Bottega Veneta was probably around fall 2019 that was around the time that they made the lug boot that full 2019 ready ready collection was a lug boot was the best ones and then i think it kind of fell off around here maybe around here 20 to result 2021 they started to get really shit so i think all of these from like spring 2021 pre-fall 2021 fall 2021 were all if i'm not mistaken they felt like they were designed by daniel lee pr primarily and then obviously when Matteo blasi made the comeback um i felt like he's basically restored the brand back to some level of prominence since he's kind of stepped back into the fold so it's been great to see really in that regard so um, more power to Matteo blasi definitely a talented guy definitely a talented guy cannot deny and 